So here we are in the, the Greek part of the cemetery. There's lots of incense lying around, lots of candles, lots of smells, lots of sights, lots of people. It's, it's kind of a bit of a sensory overload in here, really. Um, but it's lovely that the living have uh, made the place of the dead a place together and socialise. It's, it's lovely. This is lovely. The vastness and the size of this graveyard. I don't think you can quite gauge from this video. Um, there is a mixture of old with the new. As you can see some of the new and then you've got the old mixed in over here I'm really thirsty <laughs> it's so hot it really is hot look at all the old graveyards should we go should we go from wonder in here yes come with me let's Let's go in here. Oop. Some unmarked graves there. Oh, let's try not to walk on them. Oh wow, look at all this. All the older ones. See what I mean? So easy miss. I don't know if you can quite see the holes on the cameras. I'm not sure. Just changed the viewpoint to ultra wide. You see these? Look at that. That still looks like that's fairly new. So does that. But this is the old part of the graveyard. So when they're still quite raised... Ooh, sorry, something tickled my arm and I don't like spiders. That tends to mean that the coffins are of a very good quality. That they haven't broke down and they haven't sunk in. So that is the sign of a good coffin when you have still got oh, a war grave. See, it's amazing what you find if you come digging, isn't it? He was H.W. Dobson, Royal Artillery. He died the 4th of June 1943, aged 30. Bless him. There's another war grave up here. Okay. Sunken. Oh. He was an able seaman. The Royal Navy died the 5th of September, aged just 23. So I'll keep walking around here. You'll see those, um, I don't know if you can see that from there, oh, another, you'll see these little triangles. This is, seems to be quite a well, I know it doesn't, this part doesn't look like it, but it's part of the wilding process, but it seems very well maintained. Excuse me, the duck. 
Um, so they go around and monitor the gravestones and mark which ones are dangerous or which ones. Oh, there's another new burial there. Um, yes, so they go through and they mark which one's dangerous so people know and don't get hurt. Another hole there, that's a sunken graveyard, there's all graves in there as well. Well, this one's been moved, getting swallowed by cobwebs. Look at this one, I don't know what's happened here. It's gone on the skew with. Look at this, look. Just find this is a really fascinating. To see the old graves. Ah, I walked over one then. Um, look, all of these are all unmarked. But you can clearly see someone was buried in them. Now I had a, I do just wish to address this, I had a comment which, I mean any negative comments I, I delete, um, this is my hobby, I'm, I'm not a pro in any way, I'm filming this on a Samsung phone, don't have any equipment, um, so I uh, do delete negative comments that um, try to put my filming skills down or me down. So I had a comment that I deleted that said, oh, because of your heavy breathing, you must be about 20 stone. Oh, excuse me, that was me. And uh, yes, I know that on some or most of my videos where I talk as I walk. I have heavy breathing. There is a very good reason for my heavy breathing. I am an asthmatic. I have, um, I was a severe asthmatic as a child and I grew out of it. And as always, it came back about five or six years ago and I am very affected by hay fever and exercise. So as I'm walking through these graveyards there is both a lot of hay fever going on and a lot of exercise going on. Um, so I'm afraid you are going to get a bit of heavy breathing. But the way I look at it, in all honesty, is I could sit on my bum at home and, oh, some raspberries there, look. Nice ripe raspberries. We have one of them, we have one of them. Someone will come in. Should I eat raspberries off a tree? Let them all shit on them. Don't care. Oh, that's nice. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Yes, so I could sit on my bum at home and say, oh, I can't go anywhere and I can't do anything because of my asthma and hay fever, but I don't. I come out and I get exercise and I walk around Sometimes in these graveyards, you only see about eight minutes of footage. But some of these, we walk around for hours and hours. I mean, I've been in this graveyard now for about an hour. Just walking around through the, the brush or the undergrowth or whatever you call it. 
so I am going to be out of breath, a bit heavy breathing, a bit wheezy. And if I'm talking as well as I'm doing it, that is going to have an impact. So I, I do apologise that it may upset some people, but to all those that understand, thank you. Thanks for your support. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, please, feel free to comment. If it's constructive criticism, of course I leave it. That's fine, I'm a big girl. Not 20 stone big, but I'm a big girl. And I can take it. But please, don't... I don't know why people have to put other people down. I know I'm waffling now, but I'm on my own in a quiet part of the cemetery. So I'm just going to uh, say what I think when I'm wandering around the cemeteries. And I guess wandering through cemeteries, you kind of realise that... God, life's short. Life is so short. Why do we have to put people down? Why do we have to comment on videos and criticise people? and be so nasty and horrible. It just does not make sense to me. And I think those people that do think it necessary to be horrible, they need to come to a graveyard and they need to wander around and they need to read some of the headstones and see that there are children in here there are babies in here. There are teenagers that haven't lived their life. And it will put everything into perspective. Be kind, because you don't know what people are going through. And I think if I was Prime Minister, I would. there would only be one law in this whole entire world I would make one law and that law would be the only one we need don't be a dick just don't be a dick if everybody lived by that law how much nicer would the world be don't park there why? because you're being a dick you're blocking everyone in you're being a dick. Don't be horrible. Why? Because you're being a dick. If you're doing something, or you're thinking of doing something today, and you know that it's going to be a really rubbish thing to do, all you need to think to yourself is, if I do this, am I being a dick? Would I think if somebody did this to me, it was a dickish move? And if the answer is yes, don't do it. Don't do it. There, that's my uh, worldly advice and my uh, political agenda. Should I become Prime Minister? Which will never happen, but... We've had some pretty dickish Prime Ministers. But anyway, let's not get political. Let's not get political. This is not the forum for politics. Oh, I'm out of breath now. Because I'm a hundred stone. Right, there's people now, so I probably won't talk as much.
Shoghi Effendi was the grandson and successor of Abdul Baha, appointed to the role of guardian of the Baha'i faith from 1921 until his death in 1957. Shoghi Effendi created a series of teaching plans that oversaw the expansion of the faith to many new countries.